Easy 3 Sport Production. I'm your host, Suggles, and today we're going to be talking about what is going on with the Knicks. Let's get it. Ha! The New York Knicks. The New York Knicks. The last five games, they are 1-4. and four. The New York Knicks. I don't know what's going on. Like, it's so frustrating. I don't know what's going on because with these teams, these are the teams that we should have beaten. We should have beat these teams. The Heat definitely should have beat. I don't know why. It always comes down to the wire, and we always end up messing up towards the end against the Heat. I have no idea why. But the Heat, we should have won. The Wolves, the Team Wolves, we had an 18-point lead. We had an 18-point lead. And then it was also 13-point lead, and they let them come back and win the game by one. Oh my God, that was so heartbreaking. And then the Mavs. And then the Mavs. I don't know why. Why were people scared to test KP? Why? It seemed like he intimidated everybody at the rim. Luka, he's great. He did what he did, but we were still in that game. We couldn't get no production from our guys. I mean, Randall, uh, Barrett, and Rose, they were terrible from the field that day. Now, we all know that Barrett and Rose, they're still dealing with injuries. But I see what's going on with this team is that Tibbs is really not changing his game plan. He's really just shoving it down everybody's throat. And now we're beginning to see what happened later on in the season with Tom Thibodeau type teams because he's so he's such a demanding coach, which is great for New York. But at the end of the day, these guys are injured. These guys are playing way too many minutes. Like Julius Randle's averaging almost 40 minutes. RJ's averaging around the 35 to 36 minutes. He needs to tone these guys down, especially because of the injuries. Like we're seeing RJ, we're seeing D Rose, we're seeing a lot of these guys that they're injured and they're not being as productive as they usually are. Now, when we came back against the Pistons, they blew out the Pistons, but they're the Pistons. So, I mean, we should have won that game. But then last night, against Brooklyn, against our crosstown rival, they sit up there and they lose by two points. Kyrie Irving had 40 points. He straight killed us. And Julius Randle couldn't hit the buzzer beating shot to send us into overtime, which puts us right back at 500, but also 1 and 4. And it's not looking good so much now. This team is overachieving from the jump. Nobody thought that we would even be in the predicament that we're at right now. We thought that a lot of fans and a lot of analysts, they all thought that we was going to be in the 8th, ninth, even, even the 10th seed, you know, playing for that play in game just to get into the playoffs. But we're sitting at six right now. We got Boston Celtics coming up. This season we have been very good against Boston. We have been owning Boston this season. Now I'm not going to take that and run with it because we need because we're on a very bad losing streak right now. Last five games we're one of four. That's not good. And the only team we beat was a terrible Pistons team who was really looking to try to get that number one. So that really doesn't help. We need to start to play better ball. Guys need to begin to get a little bit healthier. I think when we get healthier, that's when we'll see the better brand of ball being played. But at the end of the day, I see that Tibbs really needs to change his game plan. He needs to switch up the rotations. He needs to be interchangeable with the things that he really wants. And I hate to say it. I mean, I'm very happy that Mike Woodson got that job, but at the end of the day, ever since Mike Woodson left, this has been, like, the Knicks has just gone downhill from there. So, hopefully, we can bounce back against the Celtics. It's a very good team, but we have owned them throughout this uh, year, and let's see what the future holds. And this has been a Subtle's Take for Easy 3 Sport Production. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also share the video. Sharing is caring. Help the channel grow. Until next time, I'm out.